hide and seek Then a summer storm appeared Corky got afraid When it started to rain Then we came upon a house Should we go inside? Episode 2, The Star-Spangled Night. Data entry for ship's log. Submitted by SIR Solar Ion Robot. Solar date 003.21. Location, the road to Bethlehem. Poor Joseph, you must be tired. You've been walking so many miles. Wouldn't you like to rest for a while? No, with the baby due to arrive, we'd better not stop until we get to Bethlehem. Are you feeling all right? Fine. What's that? Look, Joseph. Uh-huh. What in the world? Forgive me. <coughs> Sorry, I must have miscalculated the axolotl rhombus, but we'll have it fixed in no time. Sure, in a month or maybe two. Months? Angie, wanna go home now? Don't wanna stay here a month? Look. Huh? Oh, that looks like a friend Mary. Yep, it is. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, children. How nice to see you. We met you once before. Yes, of course. I remember. It was about six months ago. Just six months? Well, that means the time machine didn't advance us very far. Information update. Flying house attempting to return to 20th century. Miscalculations in machine necessitate emergency landing. Professor, this is Mary, the lady we told you about. Mary, are you, uh... Yes, I'm expecting a child. This is my husband, Joseph. Nice to meet you. I hear the children were very helpful to my wife when they met before. Well, when do you expect the baby? Soon. Soon. Oh, that's Soon. great. Oh, Congratulations. Goody. Hope we'll get to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a toast to the mother and dad. Here, here. Here's to Joseph and Mary. Oh, that was a fine toast. <laughs> Thank you for all your good wishes. I know you're going to have a beautiful baby. I'm sure you hope it's a boy, don't you? A boy? What's wrong with a girl? Why are you taking Mary on this long trip when she's expecting a child? Bad time for traveling. Because the Romans have commanded it. We can't be taxed until we go to Bethlehem and register. Oh, brother. Now I know what they mean when they say, to the victor belong the spoils. Exactly. Excuse me, is Bethlehem a very big town? Not very. It's not one of the biggest towns in Israel. Why? Because we'd have a better chance to get a part-time job in a big town. Huh? Part-time what? Job? What for? We've almost eaten all up our supplies. Hmm. We need $40 a week take home. She'll make somebody a terrific wife someday. Would you like to know what I'm going to do someday? Make a time machine. One that really works. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Would you two like to be shepherds and help me look after this flock of sheep? Ha, oh, boy, would we? We've been hoping to find some part-time work. Work for me. Look, we've decided to stay here because Moshe's giving us jobs as shepherds. But hope we get to see your baby someday, Mary. Well, I hope you'll come and see us back home in Nazareth, if you're ever passing that way. God willing. Goodbye now. Bye. Bye, Bye Joseph. Bye, Bye Mary. Bye. takes a lot of energy. That's true, but you don't have to make a pig of yourself. It's hard until you get used to it. What's that? <gasps> don't be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy. There is born this day in the city of Bethlehem a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. You'll find the baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. You all hear what I heard? What do you suppose it could mean? What if that was a message from God? Yeah, let's go to Bethlehem and try and find the manger. We don't know the way. Do you really want to go to Bethlehem? Because I know the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have found the problem, Professor. The wire is faulty in these condensers. Condensers, smancers. You know as well as I do, sir, you overloaded the hyperbole. Possible, but... Huh? Excuse me, may we interrupt you? We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar, so field and fountain, following yonder star. Huh? Mm, to be specific, it's westward leading, still proceeding. Have you by any chance seen the star of wonder, star of might, star with royal beauty bright? Star of might? It so happens we're not running a planetarium. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mean to imply that you would be. The star means that a new king of Israel was born in Bethlehem. Mm, yes, in a manger. <laughs> Those were the three wise men. You just figured that out? They must have been speaking some obscure dialect I'm not acquainted with. Who's that? Where? Did you see him? That masked man? Suspicious. Mm -hmm. Sir, you go after him and find out what he's up to. Me? No, thank you. Why don't you? Well, you know I have to repair the time machine. Besides, I want to be here because the children may be coming back. But... Sir, are you being insubordinate? You're just a robot. I'll go. I'll go. I'm going. Last man entering palace of King Herod. Curious. You what? You saw three wise men from the Orient on their way to Bethlehem to worship a baby that was born in a manger? Yes, Your Majesty. What's more, I heard them say the baby will be the new king of Israel. This child who was born in a manger will be the king of Israel? No, Herod is king. That's me. Wise men, stop. Stop. Please stop. I must talk with you. Oh, I remember you. You must have followed us here. Is something the matter? Something that is suspicious, curious, and odd. Well, what is it? After you left us, we noticed there was a masked man who was spying on you and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Are you the three wise men from the Orient? Yes, we are. I am Aptas, minister to the king. His majesty, King Herod, hereby requests your presence at a banquet at the royal palace. Uh, banquet? Ooh. You there, come to the palace with them. What, me too? Yeah. Eat heartily. Excellent. Delicious. Uh, first rate. <laughs> Quite a spread. Too bad I am a robot. The wise men are eating it up. But why are we here? Is it true that you've come from the Orient to worship a newborn baby who's expected to be the Messiah? It's true, Your Majesty, we have. When you have succeeded in locating this wonderful baby here in Bethlehem, will you do me a favor? Let me know where to find him. Oh, mm -hmm. what for? Mm -hmm. So that I may come and worship the little Christ child myself. Oh. Well, good. We will. Right away. You agree? Thank you. Uh oh. I suspect King Herod has ulterior motive. Information update Moshe has brought Justin, Angie, and Corky to town of Bethlehem. It's getting late. I'm sure Professor Bumble's worried about us. Can we go back and go to sleep now? Don't you want to see the baby the voice told us about? We came so far to find him. Let's not give up now. There's so many mangers in Bethlehem. How are we going to find the right one? Let's just try a few more. How about that one? Yeah, let's look. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Boy, I quit. This is a wild goose chase. Maybe we just imagined we heard about that baby. It was an imagination. Don't forget, we all heard the voice. Well, you're right, yes, Angie. I think I'm catching pneumonia. All right, Corky, we'll take you home. I think we better. Come on, let's go. Corky, I thought you wanted to go home. Look! Huh? Could that be? The manger. Let's go. Uh -huh. ah! <coughs> Sir, what a surprise to bump into you. Ditto. How come you're here? A long story. Why are you here? We came to Bethlehem to look for a baby born in a manger. Have you been able to find the right manger? We think that might be the one. <gasps> the lights are all lit up. Perhaps we have found the Messiah. It's Mary! Oh, children. Isn't he cute? Yeah. He looks like an angel. Yeah. Well, the babies make me smile. Yeah. <laughs> With the registration going on here, there were no rooms at the inn. That explains it. The baby was coming, so we were happy to find this nice, clean manger. Here's gold. Frankincense. Uh, for Christ, our Savior. For the Messiah, born to be king of the Jews. When we saw his star in the east, we rejoiced with great joy and came to worship him. When we heard about Mary's baby, we did not know he would be the Messiah. You must have been surprised. It wasn't exactly a surprise, was it, my dear? What does he mean by that, Mary? Well, it's a wonderful story. I'll be very happy to tell you. One night while I slept. Hail Mary, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Soon you will be with child, and you will have a baby boy. You shall name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of God. Dear Lord in heaven, I'm your obedient servant. Whatever you wish, I'll do. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm delighted, Mary. Are you? I've almost been afraid to tell you, Joseph. I can hardly believe it myself. Mary, I'm in love with you, and I promise to take care of you. If it's the will of God that you should bear his son, we must obey. Oh, I love you. The child that you've conceived by the Holy Spirit will be like our own. 
And I will love him as much as I love his mother. Oh, Joseph. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. What a wonderful story. As the prophet of old foretold. Hmm. Does that explain what all went on? Like the voice of the angel we heard? And why the star led the wise men here? Yes, because the birth of the child is a miracle. It is no wonder there were miracles to announce his coming. With your wisdom, perhaps you can explain something to my wife and me. We'll be happy to. What is your question? We don't understand it, but I was visited by one of God's angels. He spoke. He warned us that the baby's life would be in danger from the authorities, that no place in Israel would be safe for him. Hmm. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. King Herod seemed mighty anxious to find out that baby's whereabouts. I wondered about that. Perhaps he had an ulterior motive in asking about the child. But go on, tell us exactly what the angel said. Well, the angel said that if we want to protect the baby, Mary and I should prepare to leave for Egypt as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. There is the answer to your question. Sounds to be important. Therefore, I advise obey the Lord and leave at once. I don't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. But no matter. We'll give our darling as much care as anyone could possibly give him. of His Royal Majesty King Herod, every male child who is less than two years old must be found and destroyed! I can't believe it! That's horrible! Oh, no. No one could be that cruel. As I thought, the king asked the wise man to let him know where the baby was because he wanted to have him killed. He couldn't wait, so he ordered all of them killed. They're coming. Take Jesus and run away. But where can we run? To Egypt. Of course, you will be safe in Egypt. We will go. That danger over there. We'll go home by a different route to avoid being questioned as to your whereabouts. Harry, they're almost here. Hi, in here. Open this door! Open it up! Mom! Where's the baby that was born in this manger? The what? Baby! Baby? There must be some mistake. Don't lie! Huh? I'm not lying. Your neighbor said you wanted some boiled water. So what? You boiled water for the birth of a baby. Right! So there is a newborn child. There isn't any baby here. Well, then what was the boy of water for? For him. The pony. Mm -hmm. Ponies need a lot of boiled water, too. Just like human beings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Move on. You fool them. Yeah, thanks to the pony. The soldiers are gone. It is safe to come out now. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. I hope we'll see you again when we get back from Egypt. It's time to go, Mary. Say goodbye, Jesus. Goodbye, Jesus. Jesus. Goodbye, goodbye, Mary. Mary. Joseph, Have a good trip. Goodbye, Joseph. Goodbye. Thanks again, children. Thanks, Goodbye. Children. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Information update. Joseph and Mary depart for Egypt with baby Jesus. 
that the word of the Lord spoken by the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt have I called my son. because we were afraid you'd be worried about us, but when we got back, you were sleeping. <laughs> I guess I was tired. By the way, how's your part-time job? Have you quit already? Well, sort of. Whenever the sheep see Justin coming, they run in the opposite direction. <laughs> you mean Justin was fired? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cut it out. Did you tell the professor about the king? Mm-hmm. I hope Jesus made it to Egypt okay. Now, don't be afraid. Remember, no one ever had more loving parents than Mary and Joseph. Baby Jesus is in good hands with them. For sure. Now that you mention it, I think it's time for us to get back and see our loving parents. The machine isn't working. What's taking you so long to fix it, sir? Notice I am not doing nothing as some people are. Horsey will be glad to help you, sir. No, do not pull back. Cease, cease it. No. Oh, no. no. Hold oh, your no. hands. I think I made a mistake. No. <laughs> oh. My fabulous time machine. What a mess. I'll have to start all over. Oh, no. Information wrap up. Departure for 20th century delayed indefinitely.